Hello everyone and welcome back to our Spiral Wave Studio. I'm Chitrai. In this video, we are going to create a realistic wooden bucket using Blender. Before starting into the video, we won't be need the camera and the light. So go ahead and delete them from our scene. Now we will keep the default cube and this is what we are going to use to create the wooden plank for our bucket. Just start by selecting the cube. We are going to reshape this cube to form the plank of our wooden bucket. In the resize dialog box for the thickness, I have set the value x to 0 0.150 for the breadth 0 0.050 and for the height of the plank, I set the value is to 1.250. Now it's a time to give our plank a smooth look. To do this, we will use a modifier called Subdivision Surface Modifier. Switch to the Edit mode by pressing the Tab key. Press Ctrl R to create a horizontal loop cut. Use Ctrl B to bevel the loop. You can adjust the bevel size to your liking. Create another vertical loop cut and repeat the same process. Now our smooth plank is ready. Add the array modifier, set the count to 20 to create a multiple plank. Now press tab to switch back to the object mode. Now press ctrl A, select the curve, choose the circle. Now select the plank and add the curve modifier from the property. And use eyedropper to select the plank. Click the circle and scale it down using shift to control the scaling process. Scale it until the both edges join together. Now, our bucket is currently in a cylindrical shape, but we want to make it look more for like a frustrum. Select the plank and switch to the edit mode by pressing the tab key. Now, press Alt Z to turn on the X ray mode. Now, select the top vertexes and move slightly to the right. Yeah, now we have created the frustrum shaped bucket. Go back to the edit mode, press Ctrl R to add a vertical loop cut to create an arch like structure at the top of our plank. To do that, turn on the extreme mode. Now select the center vertices of both sides of the plank and move them upward to create a curved arch at the top of our plank. Now it's a time to create a metal handle for the bucket at the both side. Add a cube by pressing Shift A. Toggle to the edit mode. Now move the cube to the right top side of the bucket. Now select the bottom, left and right faces of the cube and delete them. Add solidify modifier from the property window and adjust the thickness to your liking. Here I have set the value of the thickness to 0 Now switch to the object mode and apply the solidify modifier. 
Now in edit mode, select the top faces, insert the face by pressing I and extrude the region. Now press Ctrl R to add a loop cut and bevel it by pressing B. Now repeat the same process. We have created the two rectangle faces at both sides. Now select the both rectangle face and extrude it. Now delete the top faces. Now select the both edges and move it down. Now press Ctrl left to fill it. Repeat the same process until we fill all the sides. Now add a subdivision modifier to the metal holder to make a polished look. And increase the viewport level to 2. Toggle to the object mode, right click and select the shades mode for a polished look. And add the loop cut at the both sides. I am going to add a mirror modifier. Now it's a time to create a bolt. Add a UV sphere by pressing Shift A. Now rotate it to 90 degree. Toggle to the edit mode and select half of the sphere and delete it. Also select the top face of the sphere and delete it. Now select all the edges, press F to fill it up. Now toggle to the object mode, right click and shade smooth. Now select the top face of the sphere and turn on the proportional editing mode by pressing O. Now shape the bolt by moving the faces. Now add the subdivision surface modifier. Now scale down the bolt to the appropriate size.
and fix it in a holder. Now duplicate the bolt by pressing Shift D. Yes, perfect. Now select both bolt and duplicate them. Rotate it by 180 degree. Now add a mirror modifier to the bolt. Now we have done. Now it's a time to create a handle for our wooden bucket. Now add a bezier curve by pressing Shift A and select the bezier curve. Move the bezier curve top of our bucket. Now delete the vertex. Scale down the curve. and rotate it 90 degree. Now extrude the curve by pressing A to create the handle. Now go to the object data properties in the properties window. Scroll down and find the bevel tab. Set the depth value to 0.03 and also check the fill cap is checked. and redefine the handle to your liking. Now add a mirror modifier from the properties window to create the another half of the handle. Don't forget to click the clipping checkbox in a mirror modifier, it will help you to join the both vertexes. Yes, finally you have created the metal rod. Now it's a time to create a wooden handle bar. Further, add a cylinder and rotate it 90 degree. And move the cylinder to the top of the metal rod and scale it down. Delete the both end to make it a hollow cylinder. Now scale the cylinder horizontally.
add a loop cut at the center and bevel it by pressing Ctrl B. Now select the both end of the cylinder and using the proportional editing tool adjust the side Add a solidify modifier and I have set the thickness value to minus 0.005 Add a subdivision modifier Now apply the solidify modifier It looks thin Okay, let's undo the process Now I set the thickness value to 0.01 Set the level view to 2 Now toggle to the edit mode And create a loop cut at the both end of the wooden handlebar to make a sharp edge Now we will rotate the handlebar like it's hanging on the bucket. Before that, you can find the cursor on the left toolbar and place it in the center of the handle. Now convert the curve to the mesh. Now select metal rod and the wooden handle and right click and set the origin then origin to the 3D cursor. Now you can rotate based on the cursor. Now it's the time to fill the bottom of the bucket. Adding a plane and scale it down in a y axis and scale it in a x axis. Place it at the bottom of the bucket. Move it to the one end of our bucket. Now add the array modifier and set the factor x as 0 and factor y as 1.0.20 Now increase the count to 27 Ensure planks covers the bucket fully Now add a circle by pressing Shift A. Now place it at the bottom of the bucket. And scale it. Careful. When you selecting the Bezier curve, first and select the bottom plank. Now switch to the edit mode. Click the Z axis view, which is a top view. You can find the mesh in a top menu where you can find the knife tool. Now hide all other objects. Now select the outer layer of the circle. Well, and delete it. Yes, finally you have created the circular bottom plank. Now select the bottom plank and extrude it. Now add a subdivision modifier to it and add the thickness. Now I think we don't want to add a subdivision modifier. Now unhide all the objects. Finally, we created the bucket. Now it's the time to create a metal belt around the wooden bucket. Create a cylinder by pressing Shift plus C and add the cylinder to the scene. Scale it down vertically.
Now switch to the edit mode and delete both bottom and top faces of the cylinder. Now add a solidify modifier and set the thickness value to 0 0.02. Now add a subdivision surface modifier and add a loop cut and bevel it by pressing B. Toggle to the object mode, right click and select the shades mode for a polished look. Finally, I have created the metal belt. Now it's a time to create a bolt for the metal belt. This will be a similar process we did earlier. Now add a bezier circle and scale it to ensure it touches the outside of the metal bed. Now add a curve modifier to the bolt. In a curve modifier, you can find the eyedropper and select the bezier circle you have created outside the belt. Now add an array modifier to the board. Set the factor value x as 0 and z value to 1 and set the counter to 20. Adjust the factor z value until the bolt are eventually spaced. Now it's a time to create a lower belt for our wooden bucket. For that, we can reuse the upper belt. Now select the metal belt, bolt and bezier curve and press Shift D and duplicate them. Yes, finally we have created the thin bucket. We have reached out the end of our tutorial and you have learned how to create a wooden bucket in a blender. In the next video, we will drive into texturing and adding realism to our project. Stay tuned for more blender tutorials. If you found this video useful and leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.